How does the brain read any situation? I think this is very interesting, right? So it's coming up from this acronym Terra, T-E-R-A, and this word Terra is coming from this word Terroir, Terroir, or Terroir, Terroir, right? Which means the influence a location has on the taste of wine from grapes in that location. I thought that's interesting. The, the influence of the location on the grapes that come from the location. So that's why you have Champagne. Champagne comes from the place called Champagne. <laughs> There's a place called Champagne in France, I guess, right? Yeah. So that's why we all love Champagne because of the location that it comes from, the particular climate or whatever. Yeah. So why are we talking about this, right? So tell us how we can influence the climate or the environment in which we are giving feedback, right? Because if we can control the environment in which we are giving feedback, the grape that comes from that environment, which is the result of that feedback, is going to be nicer, tastier, more productive, right? Better results. Are you all with me so far? You understood the analogy? So what does Terra stand for? So T is tribe. Tribe is, are you in my tribe? <laughs> are you with me or against me? At a very fundamental level, it's are you with me or against me? So we generally think, right, our tribe is with us. Who's the tribe? Our family is with us. <laughs> so are you in my tribe? Are you in my, is that work, working with you all? Do you understand tribe? Right? Are you in my tribe? Are you in my group? Are you in my circle? Are you with me or against me? So when I analyze the situation and I feel my boss is with me, does my danger signals go up or down? Let's, let's have a show of hands. We say we have here, right? If I analyze the situation and I realize boss is with me, he's in my tribe, who says my danger signals go up? Who says my danger signals go down? You're right. Danger goes down because he's in my tribe, my friend. Are you understanding? So when we are giving feedback, we have to ensure that the person feels you are with them, not against them. Is that making sense? With them, not against them. Is that a good idea? Right? All right, so tribe with me or expect. E is expectation. Do I know what's going to happen next? <laughs> ah, do I know what's going to happen next? Do I know the future? If I know the future, am I scared? No. When there's uncertainty, I'm scared, right? You want the uncertainty? Hit a body line, the then at the bottom uncertainty, I'm scared, right? <laughs> yeah, so you have to now also give them certainty. Don't worry, I'm with you. Don't worry, we can fix this problem. Don't worry, you have a career here. Don't worry, you have a future here. People want to be reassured. Expectation, do I know what's going to happen? Boss calls me, come, I want to give you some feedback. What's going to happen? What is boss going to tell me? I'm scared. Defense, uncertain. Are you all understanding? Rank is a little bit more difficult <laughs> to handle. Are you more important or less important than me? Tough one, no? Right? Because as the leader, we are more important than them. And they know it. They know you are at a higher status, right? So therefore, that thing called hierarchy. Hierarchical authority is already there, right? So they know, no matter how much boss says, I'm, I'm, I'm with you, I'm friendly with you, you he is still my boss. <laughs> yeah? So I can't, you know, <laughs> do too many things, right? But actually what happens in coaching, true coaching is, the coach is at the same level as the person being coached. Coach is not at a higher level. Mentor is at a higher level. And that's why they say that coaching is sometimes more powerful than mentoring. Because you can get onto the level of the person and eliminate this R. There is no difference in rank. But even if the rank is there, not, so, not such a problem. If that is positive and that is positive. So that's now two against one, right? It becomes an equal level conversation. Absolutely, yeah. So coaching is an equal level conversation. Yeah. That's why they say in true coaching, you can coach anyone. <laughs> because you do not know, need to know that other person's industry or business. So if you come in from financial, if Sisuru comes to me and says, Sanjay, can you coach me? Can you do business coaching for me? Yes. <laughs> because I don't need to know the industry. I just need to know how to be a good coach. And by the way, if you're a good leader, you can go into in any industry and be a good leader. Are you all understanding? Right? So leadership, you're a good leader, you can lead anything. <laughs> I think that's, that's great, right? Yeah. Okay. So, tribe, expectation, rank. Last one, A. Do I get a say or not? Do I have autonomy? And I, I have found this to be extremely effective. When I say, okay, right, what do you think? What do you want to do? You decide. <laughs> the responsibility is now on that person, right? Lots of people come to us hoping that we will rescue them from taking responsibility. How? 
by us taking the decision and telling them what to do. Don't fall into that trap. Most people would like to have a say in what they do. Yes? Don't you like to have a say? Don't you like to have autonomy? Yeah? So when we are having a discussion, let's try to have those four things. Even rank, you can try to reduce rank. Do you know how you can reduce rank? If you're having a serious coaching conversation or a serious feedback, feedback, the word, I'll just change it, but the serious feedback conversation, how can you reduce rank? Thank you. You do not have it in your room. You do not have it at your desk. Your room and your desk brings your whole rank there. Weight of rank. It's, it's all about you, right? What is the result that you want from this? If the result is to show that person who's boss, <laughs> then you bring in all the trappings of rank. Have you noticed that in lots of organizations, it's probably different now, as you go higher and higher up, two things increase in size. Have you noticed as you go up the organization, two things increase in size. Any guesses? Huh? The table size increases, have you noticed? Right? The clerk's table is this size. The CEO's table is... <laughs> have you noticed? What has increases in size? Have you noticed the size of the chair also increases? CEO's chair is, has a very tall back, have you noticed? Cell symbols, absolutely. Right? So, if you want to reduce the impact of rank, get rid of things of bringing in hierarchy. So what you can do is, instead of, let's say, if Yusuf is my boss, instead of Yusuf keeping me here, which brings the table between us, Yusuf says, Sanjeev, come and sit here. Let's have a chat. We have removed, what have we removed? The barrier between us. Are you understanding? We are sitting on two equal sized chairs. He is still my boss. But I have reduced, as he has reduced as much as he can, the barriers between us. Are you guys still with me? Still learning? Is this making sense to you?